So as you can see here, it's very smoky here in Northern California. I'm going to attempt to call my mules in. Um, I normally would call them in when they I can see them. Um, but I'm just Castro, curious Diego. if they'll, they'll come one call demon when they can't see me. Um, and then I'll explain why I, I do that frequently just about every weekend. Okay, so the mules are coming up. It's just taking a pretty short period of time. Here they come. Anyway, so I do this regularly. I bring them in every weekend, usually like Friday through Monday. And I do different things with them during that period. There we go. It's riding or desensitizing or just hanging out. Um, anyway, but the other useful reason why it's great to do this is because then they are like used to coming into this corral area, which is like part of our evacuation plan. Um, and it's also very useful because if I need to, you know, attend to a wound or anything like that, um, they'll come right in for me and it's, it's not much of an issue. They're trained to come in when called just about every time and it just gets easier and easier. Side note, just so you know, we, where we live, we are not in danger of the fire. Currently, we've been pretty safe and it hasn't really had our direction, although, you know, you can't help but be concerned because these things um, change quickly. So huge shout out to El Dorado County and our community. It's my hometown. I work at the local feed store, so I get to chat with a lot of you evacuees, uh, people that are helping, um, people that have lost their homes. And um, my heart really goes out to you guys. And um, But overall, it's incredibly inspiring to see our community, you know, jump to help others. And that's why I'm really proud to be where I'm from.